Today I'll show you how to cure your slice. Okay, so we are going to cure that slice. And here's what we're going to work on. You've got to make sure the following things are correct. Grip, ball position, alignment, and swing path. So we're going to talk about those things right now. First of all, the grip. And I want you to take a good look at how I put my hands on the club here. Okay? So if you take a look at my lead hand, my top hand, my left hand, Notice how I've got the V that goes between my thumb and my forefinger here, pointing up at my back shoulder. If you're slicing, there's a very good chance that you've got a weak top hand grip. More this way. This grip with your top hand is sure to create slices. So you're going to have to rotate a stronger top hand grip. This V goes towards the back shoulder. When I look down, I can see one two, three knuckles on that top hand. That's a stronger grip and it's the first thing that's going to help you be able to square that club face so you start drawing the ball instead of slicing. Alignment. Now, you do not need to use these sticks. I got these sticks at the hardware store for $2 a piece. You can also lay golf clubs down. I just habitually put the sticks down. And these sticks are showing me my alignment. These two sticks right here are my target line, okay? I want to set up with my feet, knees, hips, and shoulders all on a line that is parallel to my target line. Too many slicers, they have bad alignment. What they do is they get their shoulders, their hips, and their feet all pointing more towards the target. So for a right-handed golfer, their body faces out to the right. This alignment, believe it or not, is going to produce a lot of slices because in order to get the ball towards the target, the player is going to have to swing that club with more of an out-to-in type of a swing path, cutting across the ball, which gives us the slice spin and creates slices. So the easiest way to fix this alignment it's not just watching this video and deciding to change it. You, you've got to put clubs on the ground or put sticks on the ground, all right? And I just want to reiterate, target line right here and then another shaft or stick parallel to that target line. Every setup that I take, I'm going to make sure that each of my feet are the same distance from this stick, which will put me on a parallel line to my target, okay? So we've got to have a good grip. We've got to have good alignment. Next up, ball position. Ball position, okay. As the clubs get longer, the ball is going to be moved more forward in our stance. However, one easy way to quit slicing, boy, if you're doing this, it's gonna be an easy fix. If you get that ball position really, really far forward in your stance and you make a perfect golf swing, what's gonna happen is your club is going to reach its center point in its swing path before it gets to the ball and it's going to hit the ball as for a right-handed golfer moving to the left. You're gonna hit a lot of pulls and a lot of slices. We want the ball positioned, yes, it will be forward to center, but only a little bit right about the logo on your shirt. So get that ball position correct along with grip and alignment. The last thing we have to look at is going to be our swing path. Okay, now the swing path. This is a physical thing during the swing we're gonna change. It's actually the only thing we've talked about that's in the, in the golf swing. Everything else is before you get started, okay? So um, really, really common, I'm gonna tee this ball up a little bit higher here. It's down a little hole. Really, really common is the out to in swing path. Where when we turn back here, the first thing that starts our downswing is our hands and shoulders. The club comes outside the target line, across, out to in, we get pulls and slices. So here's the first thing I want you to try to do. Take your setup. Notice how in my backswing, my back is turned to the target. I'm gonna keep my back to the, turned to the target as I start my downswing. And this is actually just a swing thought. See how my club comes from the inside of the target line? And I'll swing in to out. Believe it or not, in order for you to really get this game under control, you're gonna to have to realize that in order to hit good shots, 
in some degree, you're going to swing the club in the direction that you do not want the ball to go in. So when I look down at this golf ball, the back of the ball, I'm going to look at it like a clock. The back of the ball is 3 o'clock. I do not want to make contact at 3 o'clock. I'm going to make contact more at 4 o'clock from the inside, swinging out a little bit. So let's give that a try. I'm going to keep that back turned to the target and hit that ball at about 4 o'clock. So keep that back turned to the target so you can come from the inside, start the ball to the right, and draw it back to the left. So I've got one more drill to help you with your swing path. And so it, it's really helpful sometimes to use an obstacle to help us, help encourage us to swing the club the way we want to swing it, okay? So I'm going to take this head cover, I'm going to put it outside the ball here, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this club comes from the inside of the target line, not from the outside, all right? So I'm going to set up here one little caveat. Oftentimes when people try to swing that club coming from the inside, they tend to try to get the club coming back very much to the inside. Now you can see here by looking at this, this is not a really good athletic position to say the least. In addition to that, this is not a good place to be because from here it's actually pretty common for people to come back that way to get back to the ball. So we do want to make a nice smooth takeaway. I'm going to actually try to keep this club coming back kind of slow and kind of low to the ground as it comes inside the target line. Ideally, the low end of the club will point right about on my target line or a little bit inside. And then from there, what I want to do is make a nice easy swing and try to miss that head cover. Swinging from the inside of that ball, again, coming from 4 o'clock. Let's try that. Nice and easy. Not trying to kill it now. So there's two drills to help you with the path. Keep that back turned to the target longer and a head cover outside of your target line to get that club coming more from the inside. Okay, so the four things we want to work on to get rid of that slice. Grip, ball position, alignment, and swing path.